Hello, my name is Fatma Java. Today I will talk about my project as a digital art museum and the concept of it. And why did we choose digital art museum? As we know, Bahrain has pioneered the region in introducing digital technologies in its operation and emerging technologies in public services and cre creating new opportunities that improve the quality of life for, for the people. Redefining the mission, objectives, and strategies to reflect the need of changing the world and providing a clear direction for, for continued development of the kingdom's economy as well. My concept talks about the parallel uh, universe where Albert Einstein has that theory of time and space where many films and movies were based on that theory. It says the faster you travel through space, the slower you are, and what he was trying to prove that there is another world or another universe. What do we mean by another universe? Another universe means that there is another copy of each of us in another uh, planet with another uh, personalities, as we say. And here I've shown you that there is a relationship by time. Uh, of time and space and speed. The faster we travel sp through spaces, the slower we are. I've tried to take this theory to put it in a science, in, it's a science, to put it in an engineering, to come up with a design that will express an art. Because art is expression and science is exploration. And engineering is an innovation. Design is a communication that brings a, a cultural behavior. And I've uh, I've put in these things in a in a holes that will will give you in a very uh, interesting uh, feeling, where uh, people will be able to able to ask themselves and raise the questions. So the first thing that we see when we enter to the space is the reception. The first thing that you see when you enter the museum is the reception, where there is a sign that it's written individual or groups, rather if you are a group or individual, and the receptionist will provide for you a device. This device will, will, crea uh, will create some an image of you by scanning your face to guide yourself and there is a screens above your head each screen completes the other and it's an open area that is open into uh, a waiting area here it's a waiting area it's in your left side uh, when you enter the music um, this is a waiting area also as a, a small coffee shop as we could say and there is a screen here where people take a picture when they're going out because this is the um, exit door and this is another perspective of the waiting area slash um, uh, coffee uh, area and here is another perspective of the same area uh, to show you the custom made furniture for the waiting area. So now we will talk about five holes that really talks about the concept. Um, the five holes talks about the time and space and uh, the speed. The fir first hole will talk about First hole will explain the creation and how we exist in a black hole and every time a black hole is created a new universe a new universe imperfect copy of our own could be created as well as if we are in a loop and uh, I've applied an, uh, a hologram in the ceiling and on the walls there are all uh, screens that shows you uh, an um, uh, image of uh, of the feeling of it. Then we have the second hall where we call it a yellow hall. 
this yellow hole it's it talks about if we lose all the lights and we have only the yellow lights what would happen imagine yourself entering into a space that has a yellow light there is a fact that says yellow lights let colors appear as if it is in a monochromatic as you see everything is like gray and the shade of it when you hold the device this device is written open the white light when you click on it slowly you will see the colors they are appearing as their real colors and if we click on stopping the light the yellow light you will see that the space all of it is a color color colorful space uh, then we go to the third hole the third hole is about the time and also the place it's a it's a area where it lets you decide where to go turning decisions into an art so the third hole there is a decision uh, area where you decide where to go it's written on the bars uh, past future and, and present and uh, you will have the device in your hand you will choose where to go if it's future or past or present and the, the, the past has these um, cubes that has uh, an image of everyone and the um, future it's all about lighting and green, greenery where um, we always aim for the best where the best is the light in our our life and everything that we that we were planning for it now it's green and big and present where we are we plant our plants uh, and still there is no colors because still we are in the present so imagine that the device is in your hand and you have chosen to go to the past this is going to the past. You click on past. It will tell you to go to the right door. And you, when you enter, this is what you see. It's all about uh, cubes and lightings. And the cubes are uh, televisions. And uh, it's when you step uh, in front of the cube, it will uh, appear for you a picture of you when you were in the museum because in the museum there are all uh, cameras all around the place it takes pictures of you and the device tells the the, the um, cameras that you're you are here so it takes and puts your pictures uh, here as if it is in your past then imagine that you you decide to click to the future you want to step forward this is when you go to the future it's all lighting and your plants are already green and big and your aims are full of life there this is the way you go and you step inside and you take pictures and have fun then you decide to go to the fourth hall where where it talks about light and speed here is the hole that introduces you to the big hole. It shows you that light and lines shows you that there is a speed. The small thin lines, it shows you that it is very fast. And the white big lines, it shows you that it is uh, slow. Then you go to the big hole where it shows you how line could act as a speed. This area, it has shown you the lines and the lights and the screens in a different way. When you interact with the, with the screens, it shows you that everything is moving when you move. With your speed, it's, it moves. Then, we have this in an open area. It is surrounded by the big halls where people could be resting there and wait for their friends and family and this is the area where people sit and this is the first hall that we enter knowledge of creation and color 
a loose color and round in shade of, a, of one. This is the yellow room. This is another perspective of it. Then we will talk about the coffee shop. This is the coffee shop. It's in a corner of uh, two halls in an open area. Then we will move to today's event. Today's event, it's the same of uh, Apple's today. It's uh, uh, We could change it by the event that is happening there. Uh, today's event, it's like uh, Apple's today. It changes with the events that they are discussing or what they are doing in the stage. And they bring their equipments and put it on the tables and people sit on these um, rocks. Um, and uh, when there is no event, the screens, it will be like um, this video. This is another perspective of the area that shows you the design of in the walls and the tables and the setting uh, rocks on the wall and how it is. When they finish the events and they don't need the chairs and the tables, they could take it and put it on the walls. It will create a beautiful design that is blended with the space. And what is special in the museum? Uh, every corner or uh, open space, you could see that we placed uh, an artwork as a temporary art. As you see here, we call it white box. It's a temporary art where uh, the artists could uh, place their their artwork on this box, uh, as as we sh we've showed it here. And as you see, this is the the shop. And here we will talk more about the shop. This is a souvenir shop. Then this is the the last uh, place that people go, um, because they will take some uh, clothes and souvenirs for their friends and family before they go out of them. A museum and also we have here a courtyard and workshop and library a workshop where people could uh, learn and understand things to apply it and uh, bring it to today's events and this is the library where it has this uh, shape of it, shape of it and also the last thing we have here a prayer uh, room for woman and here a mechanical room and here also prayer room for men and uh, restrooms and here and uh, we have offices and storage and as i said uh, the special thing of uh, my museum that in uh, open spaces we we put uh, artwork of um, uh, people uh, here we have the white box. Here we have an open hole that uh, it's uh, from sand and has a data show above it. It presents uh, the sea and its wave. And also we have um, an artwork here, same as this one. And uh, pieces all around the uh, museum that shows you the artwork of artists. And this is the section.